Hi everyone, today I'm going to demonstrate one of the key aspect for Azure Admin and Azure DevOps. Though it is going to be created by the Azure DevOps or Azure Administrator, it will be used by various stakeholders. It could be your product owner, program manager, or cloud architect, or anybody else who wants to just monitor your various resources. So let me come straight to the point that I'm going to cover Azure Dashboards. So Azure Dashboards is one of the key aspect for monitoring your Azure resources health. I'm going to talk about this Azure Dashboards and you have shared dashboards option here. Before I show you how we create this simple dashboard, let me show you some of the samples. So these are the few dashboards we have created and are using for few of our pro programs and these are being monitored by various stakeholders. You can see there are plenty of the resources on the screen. Uh, every resource health, it could be your app service plan or application insights or SQL database, whatnot, Redis cache, everything can be monitored from a single point of view that is a Azure dashboard. So how these dashboards or the parameters will help you is that you can easily anticipate what resource can go down in future by seeing the numbers. For example, if the CPU consumption of particular resource is 70% or 75% today, then you can easily anticipate that it is going to be 18 or 90 percent within uh, no time so you can take a precautionary step by increasing the tier or a scale of the particular resource so uh, you can also uh, see where the low consumption is so that you know you can take a step down of scaling down or tier down so that you can save the cost there are plenty of other uh, reasons why you should use a dashboard as I mentioned you can easily see what uh, see, see, what, how much CPU was con getting consumed or how much RAM was consumed or what memory was con getting consumed all this type of parameters can be seen on single dashboard if you want to see more details just simply click on the dashboard and you will be able to see the broader view of the same dashboard in detailed. You can even uh, configure that this particular dashboards for to last 24 hours or 30 days. They have given different uh, periods. So based on what your requirement is, you can simply load and all different type of resources health you can monitor here in one place. For example, you have a resource group and you have maybe 20 different uh, resources that all can be brought under the single chart as well that is what you are seeing we have plenty of uh, resources under one particular resource group all those are coming in the form of uh, the various lines here so moving on like how we create right so for that let me just open my another account so here I'm going to go with dashboard you simply click on this uh, context menu or uh, click on the dashboard and click on the new dashboard here I don't have much resources on my personal account but you can still uh, at least see what type of charts may come here or may be applicable so I'm taking maybe kind of resource groups here right side add then immediately you can see I have different type of resources here so then let me put some other chart here yeah I'm taking a resource graph uh, chart title so this need to be configured uh, to configure that just go to the preview you can't directly configure uh, that from the same dashboard so you can simply say preview click on this uh, configure title and you can write uh, your script so you can see there are different uh, different different type of uh, scripts here uh, but i'm not worried about them now just simply say update pinned part of a part on dashboard so click on that this that will automatically get updated here 
So similarly, you can add more and more titles and more tiles and click on save. So you have a dashboard ready. Similarly, you can add more and more uh, tiles to this and then you can publish or share to the respective users. Okay, and you can simply publish to the particular users. This is how you usually create uh, any dashboard. It's very simple and straightforward few minutes, but it will really help you to demonstrate your additional skills as a Azure admin or DevOps during your interviews. That is the reason I brought this, but very simple. Just go ahead and explore uh, the various uh, uh, charts available with the Azure dashboard. Thanks for watching my video. I'll come back with more real-time videos.